Get ready for an exciting and laughter-filled episode of Running Man as B2B's Seo Yung Kwang and Lee Min Hyuk bring unforgettable humor, rivalry, and camaraderie to the no money, no gain, bomb race. This episode has it all, from unexpected love triangles to friendly sports face-offs and unexpected surprises that keep everyone on edge. The episode kicks off with a light-hearted love triangle that has viewers captivated. Ji Yeun, caught between Yung Kwang's charm and Min Hyuk's bold moves, finds herself in the spotlight as the two B2B members vie for her attention in their own unique ways. When Ji Yeun mentions her admiration for people with good personalities, Yung Kwang seizes the moment, claiming, if it's personality, then it's me. Meanwhile, Min Hyuk, despite being on an opposing team, throws caution to the wind and confidently compliments Ji Yeun, saying, you're so pretty. The playful rivalry brings an unexpected romantic tension to the episode, making it hard for viewers, and Ji Yeun, to know which side to root for. Meanwhile, on a different front, Kim Ah Young captures the attention of Kim Jong Kook with her impressive athletic skills. A former soccer player, she displays her footwork prowess during the episode's foot volleyball segment. Ah Young's excitement for the game and her constant focus on the ball keep everyone entertained, especially Jong Kook, known for his high standards in sports. Her remarkable skills on the field quickly make her a valuable teammate and even spark a bit of admiration from director Gook. The real comedic gem, however, happens when Seo Yung Kwang takes his competitive spirit a little too far. While attempting a powerful kick during the foot volleyball mission, his shoe flies off along with the ball, leaving him visibly flustered. To make matters funnier, the insole of his shoe pops out mid-flight, making the whole situation even more absurd. Min Hyuk, who witnesses the mishap, steps up with a heartwarming display of B2B-style loyalty. He immediately removes his own sneakers to assist Yung Kwang in completing a height verification creating a moment that's both touching and hilarious. The duo's genuine camaraderie resonates with fans, adding a sentimental note to the otherwise comical scene. Yung Kwang's challenges don't end there. Throughout the bomb race, each team competes to collect the most prize money, with the added risk of hidden bombs, penalty tickets, and even negative amounts scattered among the 100 prize bags. Every choice is crucial, and while Kim Ah Young appears to have a lucky touch as she picks out favorable prize bags for their team, Yung Kwang's picks are less fortunate. Despite his best efforts, each bag he chooses ends up containing disappointing amounts, quickly earning him the nickname Seo Yung Kwang. The stark contrast between Ah Young's good fortune and Yung Kwang's unlucky streak keeps everyone on edge as viewers eagerly anticipate how their choices will impact their team's final prize. But it's not just about winning or losing. As the two teams race against each other, the episode showcases a series of humorous missteps, revealing the members' hidden quirks and unexpected reactions. In one hilarious scene, as the team competes for clues about the prize bags, an unintentional scandal arises that has everyone in stitches. Each task, each choice, and each mistake brings laughter, tension, and camaraderie to the group, highlighting the unique personalities of each cast member. In the end, this episode of Running Man is more than just a competition. It's a showcase of heartfelt friendship, unexpected alliances, and the unwavering spirit of the cast. Seo Yung Kwang and Lee Min Hyuk's playful banter and B2B-style loyalty shine through every moment while Kim Ah Young's lucky streak and athletic talents bring an extra layer of excitement. Together, they create a memorable episode filled with hilarious surprises, strategic planning, and heartwarming moments. Don't miss this thrilling and laughter-packed episode of Running Man, where the bomb race takes unexpected twists and turns. Join the cast as they navigate the tricky prize bags, dodge hidden penalties, and show their true colors under pressure. Don't the Malaysian Ministry of Health recently voiced concerns over Blackpink's Rosé and Bruno Mars's latest collaboration, APT, which has skyrocketed in popularity and is now raising eyebrows for its possible impact on younger audiences. While fans of both artists continue to praise the catchy beat and engaging lyrics, the Malaysian government has highlighted cultural concerns, citing that certain themes within the song may conflict with traditional Eastern values and could pose potential risks, especially for young listeners. In a recent social media post, the ministry posed a question to the public, have you listened to Rosé and Bruno Mars' APT? This query, however, was more than just an invitation to enjoy the song. The ministry elaborated that the song's concept of an apartment could represent a place of temptation, symbolizing certain behaviors that, in their view, might normalize ideas conflicting with established cultural norms in Eastern societies. According to their statement, the term apartment used in the song may carry an undertone that influences listeners toward particular lifestyles that the ministry believes are contrary to the values upheld in Malaysian society. One point of concern emphasized by the ministry is the song's immense popularity on social media, where it frequently appears as a background track in everyday content. Given how deeply integrated these platforms are in daily life, 
the ministry warned that the song's catchy lyrics could subtly impact young users, especially children, who may start repeating the lyrics without fully understanding the message. There's a real risk, they explained, that children may unknowingly sing along to these lyrics, which they view as a cultural issue rather than simply a matter of musical taste. In addition to the call for public awareness, the ministry advised parents, teachers, and community leaders to stay vigilant about the growing influence of Western pop culture, which they feel can sometimes overshadow local traditions. They acknowledged that fans of Rosé and Bruno Mars may have differing interpretations of the song's message and may even defend it. However, they emphasized the importance of reflecting on these influences carefully. The ministry encourages listeners to analyze the lyrics closely and make well-informed judgments, especially in a cultural context where certain behaviors and ideas may not align with traditional values. Despite the concerns raised, APT has continued to thrive on charts across Asia and beyond, riding high on platforms like Melon, Genie, and Flow, where fans have propelled it to peak popularity. The song's infectious rhythm and memorable lyrics have secured its spot as a top hit, and the collaboration between Rosé and Bruno Mars has opened new doors for both artists. As Rose's star continues to rise, fans have even more to look forward to. Her debut solo album, Rosie, is set to be released on December 6 and will feature 11 additional tracks alongside APT, giving fans a fuller glimpse into her evolving musical style. This highly anticipated album, which will be her first solo project since Blackpink's major international breakthroughs, is expected to showcase Rose's range as an artist and solidify her place as a global pop icon. The ministry's concerns highlight the broader cultural discourse surrounding Western influences on Eastern societies, especially as global artists like Blackpink's Rose gain influence across multiple continents. As Rose prepares to launch her debut album and continue her collaborations with internationally recognized artists, these debates are likely to continue, bringing attention to how entertainment, values, and culture intersect in an increasingly connected world. Fans around the world are eagerly waiting to hear what else Rosé has in store in her upcoming album, while the Malaysian government's stance serves as a reminder of the complexities that can arise when cultural boundaries intersect in music. The world will be watching closely to see if Rosie becomes another chart-topping hit and if it sparks further cultural discussions along the way. Today, BTS's J-Hope once again proved he's got star power both on and off the stage with a surprise appearance at the second baseball game of the 2024 Shin Han Sol Bank KBO Korean Series, where the Kia Tigers went up against the Samsung Lions. J-Hope threw the ceremonial first pitch with style, showcasing his athletic skills and charming everyone with his upbeat energy. However, it wasn't just his pitch that made headlines, it was an impromptu dance moment that sent fans into a frenzy. As the game unfolded, the stadium pulsed with music and energy. J-Hope, ever the dancer, couldn't resist the beat, jumping up and showing off his moves to BTS's iconic hit Dynamite. The crowd cheered him on, thrilled to see him bring his signature flair and rhythm to the game. But the real showstopper came when Blackpink's Rosé and Bruno Mars's hot new single, APT, filled the stadium air. In a moment that quickly went viral, J-Hope was spotted dancing along to APT, and fans couldn't get enough. As fans watched this unexpected BTS x Blackpink moment unfold, they quickly shared it across social media, generating over a million views in record time. The sight of J-Hope moving to the catchy beat of Rose's song led to immediate speculation and excitement among fans, especially armies and multi-fans who are already rallying online, calling for a real APT. Dance Challenge from J-Hope The track APT which was recently released as a collaboration between Rosé and Bruno Mars, has been making waves internationally and is already a hit for dance challenges, especially given its fun, addictive rhythm inspired by a popular drinking game. Now, the anticipation is high. Fans are eager to see if J-Hope, known for his unbeatable dance skills and love for challenges, will bring his own spin to the APT. Dance Challenge. Even better? Many fans are dreaming of an ultimate crossover, a full-fledged dance collaboration between J-Hope and Rosé themselves. While this idea has yet to move past fan dreams, it sparked a wave of excitement across social media platforms, with people worldwide sharing clips of his recent dance moment and tagging Rosé, hoping their favorite idols might take notice. J-Hope's spontaneous dance moment has also reignited the enthusiasm surrounding his return from military service. Since his discharge, Fans have eagerly awaited his next big projects and appearances, and this playful interaction with Rose's song has only fueled speculation about whether he might start participating in more dance challenges, especially for trending songs like APT. For now, fans are thrilled to catch even a small glimpse of this possible crossover, sharing the viral clip, speculating about what might come next, and filling timelines with messages of hope for future collaborations between BTS and Blackpink members whether or not J-Hope and Rosé eventually join forces for the APT.
Challenge, this unforgettable moment has sparked excitement in the K-pop community and given fans yet another reason to love J-Hope's spontaneous, fun-loving personality. If you're as excited as we are to see more J-Hope dance challenges, or maybe even that much-anticipated collaboration with Rosé, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned here for all the latest K-pop news and updates. This moment is only the beginning, and you won't want to miss a thing.